Hey everyone, how you seen this, Harry? So England have won 2 0 at Ellen Road. Pretty, yeah. Uh, let's be honest, it was pretty comfortable. Across the week, I didn't really offer much. I could have went to the game myself, but my car has been in the garage all bloody day, and I uh, had the chance with Mark for free tickets. But I have to say, before we get into the game, the lineups and everything, and going into the World Cup, doesn't it look so, so much nicer that England play away? around the grounds. I remember when they'd done this about, you know, when Wembley was being built, God knows when it was about 10 years ten year ago, they go to like St. James Park, they are going to Old Trafford, Villa Park, and so on and so on. And it, it just looks, the atmosphere just so much better. It gives to that feel that it's more of a, not just an international born game, because let's be honest, Wembley's full of tourists. Whereas I feel that going away to like the Ellen Road tonight in St. James Park and whatever, Villa Park, Anfield and etc., it just seems to have that a bit more uh, atmosphere going on about it. And I think that's probably, for me, I would like to see that going forward. You can still keep your Wembley for your playoff finals, whatever, your FA Cups and, and so on. But all honestly, the atmosphere is so much better. The credit to everybody who, who was at Ellen Road tonight. Absolutely fantastic atmosphere. You have to give credit to that as well. Um, we'll get on to, obviously, your, your live comments. I'll read some of them out um, in just a second. Scott says it was a boring game. Uh, James says, boring game, what a goal by Rashford. Jordi Jammer says, boring game. Hiya, Matt, how are you doing? You all right? Um, thank you very much, James, favourite YouTuber. Thank you very much. So, the game itself, we'll, we'll come back to the lineups in a minute because we knew that Southgate had hinted that there'll be a lot of changes. Um, the game itself, 13 minutes in, what a goal by Rashford. Absolutely fantastic, outside of the box, on the right-hand side. It reminded me kind of similar to... I'm not saying it, it like Peter Crouch's goal against Manchester City, you know, when Crouch volleyed it, but it was the same sort of distance and how the ball travelled. And I think, you know, Lee Dixon said that on ITV that Navas killer, Navas should have done a lot better. When the ball's in the air swerving all over the, all over the place, as a goalkeeper, you've got two or three seconds to react to it. And it was some strike. And I have to give man of the match to Marcus Rashford tonight. That's my man of the match. Who's yours? Let us know in the live chat. If you're watching on the rerun, let us know in the comments box down there below. But I think Rashford and that free roll, I think it's a good option from the bench. I think Southgate will go with Sterling in the World Cup. Whereas you'll have Harry Kane up top, then you'll have Sterling flying around him. But it does give you option as Rashford uh, in that floating behind. I didn't think Vardy should have probably scored his chance. Uh, what was it, 20 minutes in or so, when you know you literally got, what, well, Navas has got like two seconds to react to it and he blocks it. It's a great save. But Vardy didn't really took his chance tonight. We know that Harry Kane is going to be captain. We know Kane's going to play. But when there's someone coming off the bench, I don't think Harry Kane will come off. I think Harry Kane will play the full 90 every minute anyways. And then later on, during the what was the 26th minute, the only real action that Butland really had that he got tested was the Venegas curler from the edge of the box, which, let's be honest, was almost straight at him and he pushes it wide for a corner. Yes, England went in 1 0 up. It was pretty comfortable. Then came the second half. Henderson had a shot which was straight and Navas. He punches it out for a corner. Then the following set piece, the cross coat, well, I say the cross, it was a corner that came in and Maguire's effort was cleared off the line. And then, then, then there were several substitutions. I mean, you can see, and obviously, uh, the lineups down there, there was absolutely loads of them at one stage. And it just disrupted the game. We know that it happens, we know it slows the tempo down. In friendlies in the last 25 minutes, let's be honest, was pretty boring, except from you know Welbeck's goal. Now, Danny Welbeck does get criticized, he got criticized him. I don't think he should be in that England side. His England record is actually pretty decent, quite similar to what well, um, Peter Crouch was scoring a lot of goals for England, but he was struggling at the club level. It's kind of like how Welbeck's doing at the minute. I'm not a fan of Danny Welbeck, I'm not, I'm not gonna put up and say, Oh, Welbeck's great tonight, today, tonight, whatever. Not for me. I don't want Danny Welbeck. Yes, he scored. Fantastic. But, again, it gives options. That's the thing about Southgate. I'm not trying to be negative. It does give uh, Southgate options from the bench. Look, this lad has scored loads of goals for England. Fair play. As you can probably tell, I'm trying to be positive tonight. Right? So, um, Deli Ali, the substitute, came on. Rose gives him the ball. This is 75 minutes. I do actually think that Deli Ali does pick him out. Because uh, I remember I seen a uh, replay after where Danny Welbeck was going, did you really go for goal there? To, to Deli Ali, Deli Ali, you can see on the replay that he looks up like that and try and spot some, and he, it is a, a diving header. Mind you, Welbeck nearly missed it, and uh, England went on to win 2-0, and it was a pretty comfortable 
evening, you know, um, Costa Rica and the World Cup. Alicia's got Costa Rica, that's that that way on the flag. Um, so maybe she's she because obviously she's got the Group A. Um, what has she learned about Costa Rica at night? <laughs> probably not much. Um, there is some names that in the Costa Rica lineup that you'll probably know. Gamboa we used to be at West Brom, he played at night. Brian Ruiz didn't even get off the bench, so you had a spell at Fulham. Joel Campbell, still an Arsenal player, you know. So they do have some players. Kayla Navas, as you probably all know as well, the Real Madrid goalkeeper. So they do have a lot of um, players that were all well known. There's a couple of ones that play in Serie A as well. Um, we'll run through some of your live comments again, a dead quickly. I still think England will do uh, poor on the World Cup, says Liam. Uh, yeah, nah. Hey, Elliot, how you doing, mate? How was your night? Uh, what else we got? Of course, well, Beck scored. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was just didn't you for England, didn't you? We're slating, then he scores. Well, anyway, what, what can he do? Uh, the Brotherhood game, I heard about the Dose news, Lee's. Uh, yeah, the Bass Dose, not the Dutch striker. It's not happening. It's fake news. Just don't believe it. If you want to check out all the rumours, it's on our Twitter page in particular. I know we'll post the odd one or two on Facebook, but you'll get more of them on Twitter. Um, Matthew Smith, definitely Rashford. Marcus Rashford, congratulations to him, says James. Yeah, I think these are going by the man in the match there, aren't you? Uh, James asks, can I ask a question? How long have you been doing YouTube? Um, been doing YouTube three years, but the channel had the rebound two years ago. So three years. What's the point in playing two secondary teams? I think, Toon Boy, I'll try and answer that question for you. It's because Southgate wants to look at an alternative because we're playing Panama. And they were in South Costa Rica's group, and Panama finished below Costa Rica. So you wanted to play a nation that that are Central American who play quite similar. Obviously, we played we played Nigeria at Wembley. Again, first half we were brilliant. Second half disrupted with all the substitutes. Quite similar at night. You just want to mix up and you know against the teams that we're going to be up against. I think when we play Nigeria, we knew that Nigeria are better with the counter attack and going forward. Maybe he's looking at that Tunisia. Maybe he's looking at that. I think that's why. I think that's why Southgate opted for these fixtures before the World Cup. I know we've played big names like your Italy's and your Hollands and so on this year, but for me, are you learning much from them? Um, you've got to try and get out of your group. I think England's aim, realistically, it, it's got to be probably what eighth. Well, I say eighth, the quarterfinals. I think they'll get out the group. I don't think will happen what it did because. Four years ago, when we were ironically in Costa Rica's group, but the group of death with Uruguay, um, and I think England will get out the group this time, even though it's second place. And then you're going to play the likes of Poland and Colombia. England on the day couldn't can put one of them out, and vice versa. I think the last eight. Then you're probably looking at Germany. I think Germany were too strong for. Her. So I would say England minimum last sixteen. The best that you can hope for for this side is. You know, last the last eight quarterfinals. I'm not to be proven wrong. Of course, I will. Um, let's quickly run you through some more. Do you think uh, Joe Joe Hart or Jack Wilshire deserves to get in the uh, squad? Brotherhood gaming. Uh, I would take Wilshire ahead of Loftus Cheek. Mind. I would take Shelby as well. I'd probably take both of them um, ahead of Delph and Loftus Cheek. Loftus Cheek tonight didn't stand out for me. He's going to be a sub player, but <sighs> the thing I've got the problem with, and I seem to be seeing this all the time, is when you needing the goal and you look at your bench and you've got Fabian Delft and Loftus Cheek on the bench are they going to change the game for you? Not for me that's the why I campaigned massively and like many yous wanted John Joe Shelby in there just to mix it up a little bit so what if we go along I know Southgate wants to play three at the back constantly but the odd occasion sometimes you might have to mix it up you know if it's not working we're getting outgunned by a Germany for example the last quarter the last eight we need something to be unlocked, you know. It could be just one Hollywood ball. Tavardi, for example, that takes takes out the German defence. Whatever, you know. I just think you need options from the bench. I wanted Nick Pope as number one, says James. But Pickford is a goal, good goalkeeper. See, I prefer Butland. I think Butland is a better all-round goalkeeper. I think Pickford's great at distribution. I think Butland's better at claiming. But I think because the way Southgate wants to play, as I've said this numerous times. He wants to play those three at the back and all the defenders can bring the ball out defence if need to be. And the goalkeeper can do that as well. He's good with the feet. I'm against it because he's a Mackham course not, but I prefer Butland over Pickford. But I'm not disappointed that Pickford's number one, if that makes sense. I think they're similar. Um, Nick Pope's not ready to be number one despite him having a great season with a shot stopper. Can he really be trusted in that number one sticks? Not for me. I think the other two are probably just right above him as well. Have you heard the rumours about Martin Skirtle joining, says Jack? Again, um, that's the Turkish press. I've, the Turkish press with Newcastle, 
just didn't believe it. Um, I done the video last night. Gary Rodriguez, you know Oscar Kun, and now it's Martin Skrull. They're, they're the worse than the Daily Star and the Scum. They really are. They're that bad of starting a room. I just didn't believe it. It does my tits in. To be fair, pardon my French. Um, what else we got as well? Imagine putting uh, balls in behind for Vardy. Yeah. Um, what else we got? Germany would expose us with three at the back. Well, Germany only play one at the back. Uh, one at the back. Germany only play one up top, don't they normally? Uh, Bay Taylor, we played two poor opposition teams late in Nigeria and Costa Rica. This makes us look a good team. We'll be found out as soon as we come up against a decent opposition. I think so, maybe. But like I say, how we, how far, Bay Taylor, are you expecting England to really go, in all honesty? We should get out the England group. We should at least come second behind Belgium. Or maybe we have a better goal difference on the third final game. We'll draw against Belgium. That keeps us top. Whatever. You expect England to get up that group stage. If we don't get up that group stage, Gareth Southgate has to resign or he'll be sacked. It's the matter of the fact England have to get to minimum last 16. The players in that squad are capable of doing it. You cannot tell me that Panama and Tunisia have a better player, a better 11, better squad than England. Even Tunisia and Panama's combined uh, what, 46 man squad, you put the two squads together, put them into one, that's still not better. England are expected to get through that last 16. And if it didn't, Southgate has to go. And I'm not I'm not trying to be negative, I'm trying to be positive and nice, so let's try and keep it positive. We're talking positive tonight because I think, you know, we're coming into the World Cup and I'm starting to get a little bit excited now because I've done a couple of videos, I've been talking to the lads and all that. I know Sharky, Sharky, if you're watching, hello. He's a bit grumpy at the minute because he doesn't like the World Cup, but it's getting close. That's only a week away now. The first game, the first game's horrible, I'm not going to lie. Russia versus Saudi Arabia. Then he got three hours of bloody dancing and out singing beforehand for the ceremony. But get that game out of the way. Then it's three and four games per day. And you women who are watching, you love Ireland's going to be disrupted. And I can't bloody wait because I'm sick of seeing Love Island all over the place. Anyways, I digress away from that. Are you using the World Cup? Are you starting to build up a little bit? Because we're going to be starting the video shortly as well with all the presenters as well. Um, we're going to be doing, we've got 40, we've got the four from Newcastle Fans TV. You've got Rob who writes for the articles uh, for us as well. Who else we've got? Uh, we've got Chris as well, Australian. He's covering Australia as well. And uh, what we also want, I've probably forgotten someone else there. Uh, uh, what we also, Kyle as well. Uh, what we also want is for you to send in videos to um, over the weekend, we'll be explaining how to do that. Uh, over the weekend, so if you're at the pub watching the England game, if, if you've got a if you've got a moment of celebration, even if you're not an England fan, you could be because we do have international followers. If your team is at the World Cup, send us clips and we'll put them in a video. You could be celebrating anything. You could be having a barbecue in your back garden because the weather's nice, isn't it? <laughs> right. Anyways, imagine Brazil versus England. No, no, I didn't. I do not want to imagine that. Uh, Jack says J Shelby's an okay player. But he isn't good enough for England. Decent pass at best, but he doesn't offer goals or assists, so it's pointless putting him in the squad. Jack, can I re can I ask you the question then? Why is Fabian Delph in that England side? Who would you have, Fabian Delph or John Joe Shelby? Come on. If you're losing one nil and you look at England bench, right? So you just picture it. You're one nil down against Colombia in the last sixteen. You Southgate's looking at his bench, and thinking. Ooh, I've got Fabian Delph. I'm going to stick him on. Come on, Fabian. You're going to win us the game. However, you'll go for Shelby every time, wouldn't you? Surely. Jason says, ah, because he plays with Gale. Right. Um, <laughs> would, you, would you, I feel England don't get good good atmosphere. Well, I think they did today at Ellen Road. I think that's the way forward for me. I think you've got to start playing the England games around the UK for me now. Um, the performance tonight, as I say, it was pretty comfortable. We're not playing a team who are expecting to threat us. Although four years ago, Costa Rica beat us, well, then beat us to Jim nil nil and came top of the group, and we sadly went out of the World Cup, which was uh, disappointing. And I've always said, you know, the World Cup is a, it's a tournament which the whole world stops. Hopefully, there's no violence. That's the one major issue that I'm concerned about is the Russian violence. We know that um, even even like sort of um, organized Russian hooligan crime units are out there, and they'll want to fight. And whether you like it or not, you're going to say this in the news. And hopefully we don't say not enough of it. Because let's be honest, if England fans have had a, had a had a few beers, they start singing, we're quite mouthy as a country, as a nation. You've only just seen it with a friendly against Holland. 
if we're up against and there's a group of six young lads, young lads, 18, 19, 20, just having a good time, six of them, they're all pissed in a bar, England, 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 just singing their heads off, just enjoying themselves, and they head off to the hotel, and I could see the Russian crime, just Russian gang, mob, brain them, just beat them up, because they like it, and it's, I just hope there's no racism either, you know, you've got a lot of South American teams, a lot of uh, African nations, a lot of Asian nations. You're a lot of you've got a lot of you've got a lot of black players who play for the likes of England as well, France in particular as well. You just don't want to say I want to see a good World Cup. I do not want to go into this World Cup talking about Russian politics, Russian uh, racism, Russian gangs. You know all that kind of stuff. I want to see a beautiful aspect. That's why we're football fans. And I've totally can't cha change the whole video in that. Um, maybe that's for another 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 day. That one as well. Um, English should go a tour around England because the atmosphere sounded way better than Wembley. Yeah, Jody, totally agree with you. You massive fan. Thank you very much, Will. Good to have you on the channel as well. Uh, keep an eye on their videos coming up the weekend, Will. If you've just tuned in as well, Bobby. Hello, Bobby. How are you doing? Rashford is very underrated. I would play him over Welbeck and Vardy anytime. Just a shame Mourinho can't say when he has, if he welcome, you know, obviously we'll have him at the tune, wouldn't we, Bobby? Um, yeah, I think the first substitute you'll probably want from that bench, if England can't get a goal, is probably Rashford, wouldn't you? Because if you look at that bench, it's not Welbeck, Vardy, Rashford. You'd go for Rashford, surely, wouldn't you? Maybe, or maybe go Vardy. Um, but Rashford will play a little bit deeper, I think. Happy for Rashford. This will, I'll do him good. I hope Rashford, do you know he could be a breakout star in this World Cup? Um, but I do think he'll start off the bench, really, I really do. Danny Rose has been suffering from depression, yeah, no. Um, I think Danny Rose will start the World Cup as now left back as well. Um, that has been the stream, let me know what you think as well. Uh, Tune videos do not stop, of course not. Um, just because of the World Cup over the weekend, uh, we'll be um, telling you how our World Cup programme is going to go down. And of course, we'll want your videos as well. So get amongst it, get involved. It's a fan channel at the end of the day. It's not just about myself or Mark or Kyle or Rob or whoever. Uh, it's for you, this channel as well. So um, cheers, have a good night, have a good weekend. And the videos will continue to roll. Enjoy night. And let's roll on the World Cup one week away. See you. Bye bye.